Hey guys, it's Thomas here, and following the tax return video for upgrades, I decided to pick up some upgrades. Like I mentioned, the reef that's behind me here uh, was set up very quickly. A lot of the components on it I'm going to be changing out for some pretty cool custom stuff. And I have already picked up some of that gear, but I'm not really going to touch on this stuff today because I think unboxing some custom stuff would be a lot more fun. And I am far too excited not to just do this unboxing first. So we're going to do an unboxing on what is in this. And it is an LED light from Nanobox Reef, which is a fantastic company. They do some really cool boutique uh, kind of custom LED light fixtures that pack a lot of punch. They've got a, a lot of color rendition. I'm going to do a little bit of a, an overview of them as well. So I'll stop talking now and we'll get to the unboxing and then I'll do all the talking later when there's something pretty to look at other than this box and me. Okay guys, here is the box. I'm going to start by cutting this sucker open. I have no idea what the condition of everything inside this box is because I'm literally opening this with you guys on camera. I've not previously yet been in this box. So, super excited. All right. Oh, ho, ho, here we go. All right. All right. Oh, awesome, a thank you card. With a quick guide, we've got Dave Faison's uh, actual business card. So if uh, anything goes wrong, I can call him directly. We've got power supply. I'm just gonna put this over here. We've also got, I'll check that out. That's too cool. Along with uh, a couple stickers, which is great. I always like it when manufacturers give you some swag along with their product. It always uh, it always gives that nice finishing touch, like especially when you're buying boutique stuff. And this is my guess the driver with the blue fish. What a nice finish on that box. That is solid. That feels super robust. Uh, I got to uh, even pick the color of the uh, cord wrap here, and I went with the light gray to match my stand. And it, it just feels super robust in hand, like a, a solid brick. So I'll just put that off to the side here. Obviously, this is a little power cable for the cord. Uh, I opted for a unit with hanging kit, so there's my hanging kit. Okay, guys. The light is just inside of this. Oh man, oh that is just awesome. All right, so guys, this is it. This is my custom Nanobox Mini Tide, uh, and it's the uh, purple iodized body with a vivid orange lid, which is kind of a fluorescing uh, clear orange acrylic. This is just incredible. And man, I, I gotta say, I've, I've been eyeballing Dave's uh, fixtures, these nano box fixtures for years. They've been around for a while and I've, I've really considered over the years picking one up and just never did it. Um, I don't know why I never did it. I don't really have a good excuse. Uh, I've always had Radeons and I love my Radeons and I'm actually going to be keeping the Radeon as my main light, but, uh, I have a, a special project going on under the stand of the, of the aquarium and I needed a nice, tight little fixture to go in there. Um, something that was gonna take up a lot of space, something that was uh, going to kind of blend in with uh, all of the other gear I've got going on under there. Uh, this is a, a real vanity build for me. So I'm basically dressing it up. Everything's gonna match color wise. And now you guys know the 
uh, color format I'm going for, um, I'm, I'm basically gonna be doing the gray, purple, and orange, and holy am I glad I, I picked those colors. This is absolutely stunning. So the hanging kit is obviously uh, right through the, the lid there. And I even had uh, Dave go ahead and do the anodized purple screws so they all match perfectly. Um, underneath the hood here, uh, I believe what we got going on is uh, one of Dave's uh, newest clusters uh, that he's rocking right now, which has the lime colored LEDs in it. Uh, a real nice array of blue spectrum uh, UV and then some whites as well. And then on this side over here, I believe what I'm looking at is the independent blue moonlight LED for the moonlight channel. So that's really gonna rock. Um, it all runs on Bluefish, which I will show you guys in a bit, which is basically a, a Wi-Fi kind of app controlled uh, controller. So you can program the levels the light is running at. You can program when the light comes on, turns off, sun, sunset, sunrise, the whole shebang. So this is a very, very, cool and uh, fully functioning fixture with all the bells and whistles. Um, completely done up however you like it to suit your decor. I mean, he's got a wicked array of body colors and different types of lids. You can even get different types of wood lids, whether it's bamboo or walnut or whatever. Um, white body, clear body, black. If uh, I'll drop the website uh, for Nanobox in the description below if you guys haven't ever checked it out. Definitely something worth checking out. Uh, he posts all the builds as he's doing them so you can see what other people have purchased as well and, and really get on board. This is, man, I'm so glad to finally have one of these. Okay, so enough of this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is get this all blinked up. I will pull out the Bluefish app and turn this sucker on and show you guys how it works. Right, guys now we're in the bluefish app now we're looking at the uh, manual controls for the light uh, you have control over every single channel you've got the royal blue here which I'm gonna pump everything up so you can see how bright this fixture gets the whites and limes are on one channel the violets are on one channel you've got the uh, cyan blue on one channel and then the moonlight are obviously uh, the single diode moonlight is on its own channel which uh, this has more to do with um, mimicking the moonlight schedule in the evenings and how intense that moonlight schedule is going to be. Uh, the fan you also have control over, which personally I'm just going to leave it running full pop, make sure the fixture stays cool. Uh, where I plan on putting this fixture, I'm probably not going to hear it anyways, even if, uh, which being honest, I can't really hear it now. It's uh, a very quiet fan, so I'm not worried about that at all. Um, You've got uh, different options in the app here. Obviously, you've got demo mode, fast forward, thunderstorm. Photo mode is really cool. Photo mode, uh, essentially, you hit that button and it's gonna uh, change the spectrum of the fixture so that taking photographs with a camera becomes a lot easier. Typically, when you're photographing a reef aquarium, it's a little bit more difficult because of the amount of blue and violet uh, spectrum that you've got over the tank. It really messes with the camera lens. It screws with the sensor, essentially and uh, it really blues everything up. So instead of using a gel or something, uh, you can use photo mode uh, on the Bluefish app here uh, with your nano box and it'll make it a lot easier for you to go ahead and take those photos so you get the proper color of your corals in those photographs. You can see right now uh, we're mimicking a clear day on uh, now Sorry Fiji. Uh, the light's at about 78% for the, uh, uh, and moon lighting schedule's in there as well. Um, you can take a uh, look for a different location to simulate. So if you wanted to do the barrier reef or something, you could enter that in there. So we can also go over to the uh, graph here and you can see the time, uh, the Wi-Fi signal, which right now is excellent. Um, it gives you uh, the information of what Wi-Fi you're hooked up to, the time zone, firmware, CPU clock. But more importantly, it gives you a nice graphical uh, display of your schedule and shows you what your light's gonna be doing over that time period. And if we head all the way over here, obviously we've got lighting, system, Wi-Fi setup, quick setup, and there's some extras in there. Uh, the app's really easy to navigate. It's pretty intuitive. If you wanna go ahead and, and change something in it, it's very simple to do so. Uh, really, I'm, I'm not gonna go through the app too much more. Uh, if somebody ends up with this light and you have the pleasure of working with the Bluefish app, I think you'll really enjoy it. 
Uh, I just wanted to give you a kind of a quick idea of what this light uh, would look like on. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you what it's gonna look like over a tank right now because the uh, component that I'm gonna be putting it over top of isn't here yet. So it's not going over the main display, but it is going on my reef system. And uh, I kind of want to leave it as a bit of a surprise so you have something to look forward to in a future video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think I'm going to be using this light for on that system, and we'll see who gets the closest to right. Let me know what you think I'm going to do with that. And uh, as always, keep on tanking. And don't forget to subscribe because if you don't subscribe, then you might miss video in the future where I talk about what that's going on and then put it on and then you would see it in action over top of something instead of just pointed at a white box to reflect the light to the camera lens without blinding it so you could see that it was on. Take it easy.